At my heaviest, I weighed a total of 330 pounds. I became massively overweight and obese, but I was completely out of control. Sometimes I was so paranoid and insecure, I actually was too worried to even leave the house. You're not good enough. This girl's not going to want to go out with you. You'll never succeed at this. You'll never succeed at that. I said to myself, that's it. No more. Now you have to change. Now I was a very insecure, paranoid, highly anxious um, child. And this carried over into my teenage years. My weight kept going up and up and up and up and up till by the time I was about 21. I was in Dublin for a friend's 21st birthday and one of my friends convinced me that one of these girls apparently liked me. So I tried my luck and I got rejected, which as far as I was concerned, this had happened far too many times by this point. When I came home, I decided that was it. I was gonna lose this weight once and for all and hopefully feel better about myself. So the first time that I lost weight when I was 21, I managed to lose 112 pounds in 10 months, which is a huge amount of weight to lose. I didn't deal with my mental health problems. I did lots of exercise and I followed a diet plan, but these deep underlying issues that I had that were the reason that I used to comfort eat and drink too much alcohol in the first place were still very much there. You're not good enough. Nobody likes you. This girl's not going to want to go out with you. You'll never succeed at this. You'll never succeed at that. So by the time I was 28, I had basically comfort eaten myself back to the weight that I was at my heaviest when I was 21, which was 330 pounds. I said to myself, that's it no more. You're not going to allow yourself to self-destruct anymore. Now you have to change. I lost a grand total of 140 pounds. Initially becoming shredded, in the short term it felt amazing. Longer term, in all honesty, I honestly don't think it was all that it was cracked up to be because if I'm being completely honest with you, I did that because I was actually lonely. All I wanted was to get into a relationship with somebody and I thought, naive me, that if I got looking like that, that that would help me to find a partner because women would want to go out with me. But how wrong was I? And they said to me, look, you looking the way that you do and having these photos of you in your boxer shorts, you know, like putting your hand through your hair, etc., it makes you come across like you're arrogant, that you're self-absorbed, that you're selfish and that you'd have no time for me. The reality was, was that what I thought would happen didn't actually happen. I weigh 195 pounds now. I'm very happy with, with how I am like physically, but then I've also got that freedom to be able to have a more balanced life as well. When I was bigger, I always had to rely on going to particular type of... <laughs> Just to keep going. Yeah. Um. I met Zoe on the dating app Tinder. When I first met Mark, my initial thought was, oh wow, he really is that muscly. Um, but on a serious note, I just remember how easy he was to talk to. Oh my God, look at you in that photo. This one's the best one, look. Ray. Oh my God, what were you doing? No, I think you are right. What was the turning point a few years later? Makes a change. I'm right. <laughs> Filming uh, videos is really not my bag. It's a good action shot. Yeah, chop chop. But he's really inspired me to, you know, keep myself fit and healthy. And you know, when there's days I really don't feel like exercising, I just think about everything that he's done, and it gives me that motivation. I have had quite a lot of people message me telling me that after hearing my weight loss story, that inspired them to change their lives. I'm really proud of Mark. I believe I'm his biggest fan.